Artificial intelligence is transforming the way we learn. These assistants aim to make education more accessible and inclusive. But the question is, are these virtual teachers succeeding? Let's find out. A private college in London is about to start its first class that uses AI to teach students instead of human teachers. Starting this month, 20 GCSE students will experience education in a completely new way. GCSEs are the standard exams for 16-year-olds in the UK. What we're attempting to do is to use AI in key subjects at GCSE. The three sciences, maths uh, and English and computer science and possibly geography. Here's how it works. The AI platform identifies each student's strengths and weaknesses and customizes lessons accordingly. Strong subjects are revisited later in the term for review, while areas that need improvement get immediate attention. You can say it's a bespoke learning experience crafted by a digital mind. There are many excellent teachers out there, and we have many here at the college, but um, we're all fallible. If you really want to know exactly why a child is not learning, I think the AI systems can pinpoint that more effectively. Some GCSE students have already been getting a taste of this tech power teaching. Teachers don't know exactly, precisely what I'm unable and able to do, where the AI can just figure out just by a few questions what I'm weak in and what are my strong points. But don't imagine a room full of robots. Although there are no teachers in the classroom, there will be three learning coaches to help with behaviour and other subjects that AI might struggle with. They're not being taught subjects by the learning coaches, but we are covering soft skills like uh, public speaking, debate, and the really important personal aspects of a person that you really want to bring out and develop and turning young people into young adults. However, not everyone is on board with this high-tech education. Critics warn that removing teachers from the equation will harm students in the long run. Chris McGovern, a former head teacher and UK government advisor, is leading the charge against this new educational style. Children will lose a great deal from that AI experience. They need to have teachers, they need to interact with other children, and that's fundamental. The problem with the AI and the computer screen is that it is a machine and it's inert, so you're straight away dehumanizing the process of learning. It's a soulless, bleak future if it's going to be along the AI path only. The debate is ongoing. However, the UK government is already taking steps to incorporate AI more broadly in education. Recently, they launched a project to help teachers use AI with precision. A new bank of anonymized lesson plans and curriculums will be used to train different educational AI models, which could assist teachers in marking homework and planning classes. As AI takes its seat in the classroom, the future of education is being rewritten.